how to build a giant floor mat Nintendo controller. Remember the good old days before aerobic gaming, when you could just sit on your butt and wiggle your thumbs? Well, those days are gone. Time to get up, stand up, and put your feet to work. You will need a Nintendo game system and controller, a three foot by five foot piece of cardboard, about 40 feet of insulated red wire, six feet of insulated black wire, a roll of aluminum foil, a roll of clear packing tape, 32 sheets of construction paper, some gray, red, and black felt, a soldering gun, a screwdriver, and some scissors. Step one, take apart the controller and remove the green circuit panel. Each of the eight controller button terminals has two leads, one that connects to the ground and the other that goes to one of the eight poles. Make a mental note of which button leads to which pole. Step two, flip the board over and solder a length of red wire to each of these eight poles. Solder a length of black wire to the ground terminal. Make sure you attach at least five feet of wire to each pole. They'll need to stretch a long way. Step three, cover the large piece of cardboard with aluminum foil and tape the single ground wire to this base layer. Step four, stack four pieces of construction paper together and cut several holes in them. Tape the stack along its edges to the aluminum foil in the same location as the button you're creating. Step five, Tape a smaller piece of foil over the construction paper, but make sure it's not touching the base layer of foil. Step six, tape the corresponding button wire to the small piece of foil. Step seven, repeat this process for the remaining seven buttons. Step eight, cut out felt in the shape of the actual controller buttons. Step nine, flip the cardboard over, attach the oversized buttons, and get ready to hop around like Super Mario himself. Did you know? The Nintendo Company was founded in 1889 and originally produced handmade Japanese playing cards.